Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be discussing the transformer architecture from the paper "Attention is All You Need." So the explanation which I'm going to give in this video is mainly inspired from the explanation given in the book called "NLP with the Transformer." This is really a great book, and the authors of this book have also implemented a library called Hugging Face. uh so let's get started without getting any delay so transformers is basically a encoder and decoder based architecture uh so in this video i'll be specifically going through the encoder part of the transformer and down the line i think we'll be also going through the decoder part of the transformer so just to give some of the models on the encoder part that is we generally call it as a native natural language understanding which includes bert and robert a series and when it comes to the decoder only part which is uh, typically from the open ai it's like the gpt series gpt 1 2 3 now chat gpt and gpt 4 etc and transformer architecture it consists of both encoder and decoder where models like t5 or bart comes into picture which is from the facebook the bart and t5 is from the google so let's get started So in this example, I'm uh, taking a sentence called "Life is beautiful." This is a sentence. Let's see how transformer en encoder takes this sentence and process through a series of layers and finally generate embedding for this. Like any model, we need to convert this sentence into a numerical format, right? So we are using something called tokenizers, which we'll be discussing down the line. How what is tokenizer? How it works? but simply put we take the sentence we split it into something called tokens and something called token id will be assigned to each of the tokens and then a embedding which will be created for each of the token id which will get fine tuned over a period of time depending on the kind of data which you have in this case life is beautiful we have three words after the tokenizers we have four tokens and i just taken this example for the sake of uh, you know uh, educational purpose and if you really take the uh, tokenizers from the board you may or may not end up with the tokens like life is bt plus full and also i am ignoring the called special tokens like cls eos or acp and other things just to make the explanation easy go ahead so for let let's let's, let's resume we have a sentence it will get split into tokens and each token will have something called token ids and each token ids will have something called token embedding right and will there is something called layer normalization which we will revisit after some time but for now just ignore what is this called uh, the purple one it is a layer normalization but i will I'll, i'll come back to this later and each of the embedding in this case we have four token embedding for each of the embedding we will create a set of vectors called q k and v that is query key and value vectors we are generating a set of q k v vectors by projecting the token embedding to a weight matrix to generate a query similarly we generate the key vectors by projecting the token embedding to a weight vector wk similarly the value vector as well right now i have just taken the example of the token called one zero token id of 1021 which is back map to the world called is we have 768 and i have generated q k v vectors by using w q w k and w v vectors so this is one set of qkv vectors in generally we will generate a set of qkv vectors and in bert we have eight sets of query key and value pairs it's not a pairs it's a triplets so we will we'll discuss it generally in short you know as an uh, we have qkv vectors for each of the tokens and we have eight sometimes 12 sometimes even more than that as and when the models goes that's what we have it uh so we get qkv by projection of token embedding to this and as a next part 
uh one thing we need to make sure that uh the embedding size of q and k has to be same and we need not have the same embedding size similar to q and k so because we are going to multiply the query with the key vectors of the other tokens as well uh just take an example of the word is and let's see how it get processed we know that we have q k v and the weight matrix wq wk and wv this will get fine tuned in the back propagation process so for the query vector of the token is will be multiplied with the key vectors of the tokens from live key vectors from the token is key vectors from the token beauty and also the key vectors from the token full right and as i mentioned as i was mentioning earlier we will have a same embedding size for all of uh, the query and the key that's why you know this will become a scalar so we have taken the key from the live key from easy and key from the beauty and k k from the full and what we end up with something called a scalar numbers it is called as attention scores okay and once we have the attention scores we will be doing something called uh, you know uh, what do you call i think we'll do doing the scale down operations on the attention scores just for the numerical stability because we really don't want to have one numbers going too big or another number going too small because it will be very difficult to handle in the training process of the neural network just to make sure that we going to divide this uh, number with square root of d where d is the dimension of the q and the key vectors if the dimension is let's say 64 we going to take the square root of 64 and divide it by this and the each 1.2 will be divided by uh, 0.9 in the 0.9 will be divided by square root of d uh, sorry i think 1.2 will be divided by square root of d similarly 0.9 divided by square root of d and so on and so forth and finally we will apply softmax on top of it and one point i think this number is just a sort of sake of example i think even even if you do like 1.2 divided by square root of d that is square root of 64 you will not get this i just written it so that uh, to understand the encoder part it will be much easier and for me also to go through that will be easy uh, we have 0.35 which is a value which you get from applying the softmax on top of attention score which is scaled down version of it and we going to multiply that with the value vector of the life right even the value vector of is the value vector of beauty value vector of the full and finally we going to uh, uh, you know uh, we will get the 64 dimension because the in the part whatever the value which was dimensions embedding size which was used for the value is 64 embedding so let's take some pause and let's look into some of the uh, other details which was explained here and whatever it was explained here it is nothing but a fancy weighted average even the same terminology which was being which was used in many blogs articles even the book which i suggest the starting of the video so uh, now this is uh, once you have apply the softmax it is called the attention weights okay and attention weights usually calculated by applying the softmax function on top of multiplication of qk q and k vectors multiplied by v but we know that q and k are having the same dimensions and what you get is a scalar and divided by square root of d and why square root of d why not something d why not d square this is something people have figured out by doing an experiment it's just an empirical data and we going to apply softmax on top of it because some of the attention scores will lead to one so that we will come to know what are the attention given by the word is to the neighboring words maybe in this case it so happens that you know it is giving more weightage to the life than the word full i think i'm using the word 
uh, word and also the token interchangeably hope you're able to get what i'm trying to say and that's how you can interpret it is i think one of the famous formulas out there on the internet as well when it comes to the deep learning and the transformer part and let's take some of the questions like why three queries right i think you have q k v why not come up with the only single embedding something called query and why not go ahead with the process right let's take this example let's assume that you know we have k and key vectors let's assume that it is same and in this case what will happen is the q and k q and k q and k right multiplication of these things since q and k are same in our in our case let's see if you are calculating the attention for the word is the attention scores for that word will always be one but what we wanted to know is we wanted to know what are the other influencing tokens for the word is if we had consider q and k as same vectors then the attention scores or the retention weight for that specific word for which we need to calculate attention will always be one and that is not what we wanted we wanted to know what are the attention for that word with respect to the others right so that's why we have q k v and uh, there is different it is completely you know as uh, influenced by the information uh, retrieval uh, domain where i'll take the i think either you can take the example of google search or the youtube search right let's say you search something like i want to understand transformer architecture or transformer videos in youtube so this is called a query and usually from the youtube or the google it has to go through a lot of videos or in our case it's a candidate videos and it has to filter based on the query which you have done and then it will shortlist top 10 or 15 videos then it will send you the results right similarly if we analyze if we apply that analogy to the qkv vectors of the transformers we have the query we applied query and k multiplication that's what in the youtube search you know when and search it will go to a multiple videos maybe it might have gone to the thousand or two thousand or depends on so much of factors and finally whatever the results you got from the youtube 10 or 20 videos that is a consider as a value right so now in this case we need 0.35 of this value we need 0.3 from this value we need 0.25 from this value or from this token and that means e is, is much influenced over the v than the token full so this is how we can understand why do we have three vectors and what is the logic behind q q k v vectors and how transformer is making use of this and coming to the second part the time complexity of this is its order of n square let's say for the word is it we are generating four scalars or four attention weights right and similarly we are having four tokens and each of these tokens will generate four attention weights 4 into 4 16 right and that's why that complexity time complexity of this overall transformers the encoder part is order of n square and i also discussed about why do you need to divide it by root of t just for the numerical stability while training the neural network and whatever we have it this is a 64 dimension that is coming from the value vector and that is also from one set of q k v vectors as i was explaining few minutes back that you know we will be projecting token embeddings to generate multiple sets of q k v which we call it as multi headed attention in this case we have one head attention one head is equal to 1 q k v and 
whenever see we say eight head attention that means we have eight query key and value so now the 64 dimension is coming from value similarly we get 64 dimensions a 64 dimension vector from the first head similarly 64 dimensions from second head and so on and so forth and 64 dimensions vectors from the eighth head as well i'm talking about just the word is right is will have eight attention heads and i'm talking about the bird again and we will gonna concatenation we do the concatenation operation of all these 64 dimension to end up with 768 dimension vector and once we have the 768 dimension vector which is a result of concatenation of multi-headed attention we will pass this uh, 768 dimension to something called position wise feed for a network for which we gonna use jelu as an activation functions and again we gonna generate the 768 dimension output usually the this is called a ffn layers and this uh, size of the hidden uh, layers or the hidden neurons which will usually be the 4x than the hidden size that means if the input size is 768 usually this number of neurons will be four times of the hidden size in this case it is four multiplied by 768 how much number of neurons we get those many you know that will be the size of this again we will be downsizing it to 768 and gonna use the jello activation for this right and we got 768 dimension for the word is okay but in our example we have four tokens life is beauty plus full right so before go ahead for that let's see that i have missed anything okay and now if we look into the original transformer paper we have something called normalization additional normalization and additional normalization right so if you look into this and we have the normalization layer after the multi-head attention and we also have the normalization layer after the feed forward network and whatever we have here is a feed forward network feed forward network it is also called position wise feed forward network because we are passing one position at a time it's not that we are passing all the position from the input embeddings to the network that's why it is called position embedding uh, and we have the layer normalization before the feed for a network and we also have the feed for a network before the calculation of attention weights as well having these normalization layer after feed on networks or after the attention weights we could be trickier to try as well as the gradients which we get might diverge as well at least this is what the explanation which i got from the book nlp with transformers the book right and um, whatever the vectors we got 768 embedding that is for the word is similarly we have uh, we will generate the embedding for the key uh, token life and is beautiful right we will end up with having 768 embedding for each of these four tokens and each of these tokens will also have eight uh, atten eight uh, attention heads in each of these layers and combined together this is called one layer or on encoder block or one layer in the bird in so much of variations of bird bird large small but whenever you take the bird which is having 12 atten 12 uh, encoders we will have 12 attention heads for each of the layers so overall the encoder for the transformer especially in bird will have 12 layers and each of the one will have 12 attention even just to summarize overall the number of attention we have it in the bird is 144 attention heads and 12 layers and 
and also one other thing which i missed is you know we have something called skip connection which is which just helps us you know passing the gradients further which is influenced from the i think computer vision which is a residual network resnet paper so i think this is all i got uh there are so much of things which will be covering down the line one is this is this is just about how the encoder of the transformer works and we'll be discussing the decoder in the later part i have not discussed the position embedding part of it because when you work with transformers right and all goes parallelly we'll never come to know whether life whether come before is or after is right even the beauty of the world whether it comes after is or uh, before the word is right so for that we use something called position wise embedding which could uh, i think anyway i'll be discussing that specific details in another video i will just summarize whatever we have discussed so far so whenever we get a sentence that we will use a tokenizer to spl split the sentence into something called tokens and each of the tokens will be assigned to something called token ids and each of the token ids will be assigned to a fixed embedding size and this embedding projecting into some of the weight vector to generate something called qkv vectors and a set of qkv vectors called as one attention head similarly generally the standard is you know we will generate a series or a set of qkv vectors in the word we have eight qkv vectors for each of the tokens it is also called attention head one attention is equal to qkv eight attention is equal to eight qkv vectors and dimension of q and k should be same so that we can multiply and get the scalars and we do a scale down factor which we got empirically proven and after applying the softmax we get something called attention weights which will be multiplied with the value vectors from the other tokens finally to get something called as a attention head embedding that is a 64 and similarly we get from the same 64 dimension from the other uh, attention attention heads as well finally concatenation of all those attention and passing through a layer normalization plus the feed one vector generate the embedding to for the word is or for the whatever the word it is in question so that's it uh okay thank you so much for watching this video